So in season two, we're setting this in summertime. We ended season one in spring and now we're in the summer. Summer has officially started. We're gonna have so much fun. And I think Anna, the, the head writer, and I loved the idea of summer because it really represented this possibility of growth and change. And we definitely see that with the twins. We see that with Nina and Kiri. They're making big decisions about their future, like lots of young people are in this country and in all over the world. They're thinking about what they're gonna do next and all the pressures that come with that. Again, like Addy, they're feeling a little bit of pressure and, um, you know, maybe they're gonna go in different directions. What? Um, I'm just thinking about Addy. I mean, we've both done our best to protect her, but have we done enough? <laughs> enough for what? When we're not here. Are we dying? I'm serious, kids. I mean, I know uni feels like ages away, but you have to start thinking about it. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna go. Well, maybe the uni fair tomorrow will help you decide. You know, it's a big choice, kids. You can't hide from the future. I can hide from anything. I thought about what's summer and juniper like. <laughs> let's see what summer and juniper is like. Let's see, um, you know, ice cream parlors and let's see swimming and let's see a break from school because school when you're autistic can be two things. It can be very, very stressful and very, very frightening as it was for me. And it can also be very safe and very routine, which I think it was for Addy. Addy was very reliant on the library. So being out of school and having kind of freedom for a few weeks is great, but it's also, wow, where's my routine gone? I'm, I'm a little shaken up. So we're seeing Addy um, kind of exposed and Audrey, of course, just wants her to have fun and relax. You okay? Sorry, I just, um, the summer holidays can be hard. Like, right now, I would head to the library, clear my head, but it's not there in the holidays. So it can be hard to find space to think, especially when everyone seems to be talking about you. I know what you need. You do? Ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I think the biggest difference between season one and season two is Community. I think the community has completely changed. When we see Juniper in season one, they are quite guarded, they are quite old fashioned and traditional, and not very open to Addy and the Darrow family and their way of life and their the way they accept people. We've managed to avoid the latest Darrow family nonsense. No, no, I warn them to be on their best behavior. You know, we won't have any trouble. In season two, we see the community desperately trying to be the perfect village and to really re really represent Addie and to really embrace her and that's when we meet Bonnie this incredible new character who doesn't who doesn't believe that the village is capable of such a thing you can put up as many memorials as you like but Juniper will never be a safe place for people like me or you Sorry. As the season goes on, I think we see that community can mean so many different things and actually Juniper has improved in enormous ways for everybody. This community member is on board. And me. Uh, and me. Whatever is actually happening here. I think also we're seeing a lot of joy this season. We're seeing, you know, a lot less to do with school. It's a lot more about being with your friends and being um, and having to figure out who you are outside of school and outside of work. And, and it's, um, it's more about freedom. And I think that's a big change. We're not we're not um, visiting the past this season. Um, we're very much rooted in in, in the present. Um, but we do have some familiar faces um, in new roles as well. 